200 to 300 bags, only for cab bags. Uh -huh. Every bag has about 25 bottles in it, and you, you stuff the bags under and it floats more. We've got holes where we stuff them under, and as it, as it grows, it gets stronger. The more longer time it has, the stronger it gets. The mangrove roots go through, and it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger, and it's uh, and actually an ecological piece of land that supports itself. So it's a way of creating more space on the planet for everybody around the earth. We green space, space that creates oxygen for the planet. It cleans the water with the roots of the mangroves. It cleans up the trash from the whole world. It creates space for an overpopulated world. In places like the Ganges, dirty rivers, filthy rivers that can be cleaned. You just have to put the trash in the bags on the river and, the, and a few mangrove seeds and the seeds of the mangroves will sprout and clean the river with their roots. You don't even need to put soil on the island. The, the tree grows up and then it drops leaves off and you have your own island with your own soil on it. And the roots go through it and the seaweed and things cling on the outside. The bottles last for years and years and years because they're in darkness. It's a perfect way to make floating land from trash. From what the world throws away, from trash to treasure. To treasure Island. It could be as big as Australia. Oh. And you know what? How could you break a thing like that when it's got tree roots and trees growing through it? With three meters of dip depth of bottles, you can grow a Tsukoa tree on that. I'm talking about a massive tree on three meters of bottles because the roots spread out and the weight is spread out. We had a survey done on the last island that I did that was washed out of the ocean by a hurricane because I was actually on, re ready to go for a voyage on the ocean. I was tied to rocks on the end of a marina system, right on the waves. The ocean came up with the hurricane, washed it out of the shore, and we couldn't get it back in the water. It was right in the front of a condo project. A lot of people think that that last island that I had was washed out onto the sea and there's bottles floating around. Not at all. All the roots were rooted through the whole thing. The bottles were all trapped in with a net underneath and the roots. Nothing came out on the ocean, it came up onto the land and it was cleaned up and it was put back in the trash where it was taken from the beginning. Now, I, 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 really, I really would like you to understand, like focus on this because this is very important. These are trash bags in here, right? Now this is trash that does not float. This is trash that's any trash from the kitchen. Okay, bottles without tops, aluminium cans, paper, yogurt cartons, whatever, right? Now what it is here is that I lay earth down, dirt on top of there, and then I put some more bags and some more dirt and some more bags and some more dirt, and then it reaches up to here, and then I cut this off here, and this tree will grow through the whole wall oh. and root it all in. So it's a way of making the whole house the more problem. insulated, mm -hmm. keeps the house cool in the summer, and it keeps the house warm in the winter, and it's trash again. So now we're not only using bottles to float the island, but we're using all sorts of trash to make walls, organic trash and earth walls, which is a fun to make a whole house. You can make a whole city out of the trash with the <laughs> plants growing through it. So, so this is like a little rain collector here. <laughs> and this supports the weight. It's just got a plexiglass over with uh, plastic on there. And when it rains, it fills up here. And then it, when it gets too full, it goes out here. And it comes down the little river there and it feeds the plants. So it's a natural rain collector feeder for the plants. A little swing. And on top of here, it's covered with solar panels. Oh, yeah. You can climb up and have a little look if you want. Have a persona? No, what, what did you if you climb up that ladder there, huh? and just look at you can photograph the solar panels if you want. So all the houses is made uh, Almost uh, about 70% of this whole thing is recycled. Uh, what, what do you do with Rico, your you must friend? stay in Mexico. But I, I don't take anything off, it all goes in the wall. <laughs> it's making the island bigger. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Food, no, no batteries. The no, batteries, no. What did you do with I'm them? just saving them. I don't have many batteries. <laughs> I mean, I use the big batteries I, uh, for the solar panels, and they last a long time. The little batteries from my telephone, well, I just, I've just got them kept there, you know. But I think after a, after quite a while, it goes naturally down anyway. Danny, you know. Hazle a la a los solares. I will go to see the the solar panels. Yes, I need to be careful.
you, uh, you also you might be interested to photograph the grass on the roof. Look at the roof with all the. See it? And all the grass growing here. Yeah, uh, it's wood. Here's and just a bl plywood top with a plastic sheet. Uh -huh. Alona. I can actually uh, unpack it. Uh, soil yeah. and plant, you know. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is here, uh, this is going to be a little visitor's room uh -huh. and this will have the rain collecting here when this is all finished. The rain will come down here and there'll be a tank of water for the water here. But this is going to be shallow with a glass on the top and it's going to heat up with the sun so we'll have solar heated rain water and this oh. will come through a shower here. <laughs> so we'll have a lovely shower heated by the sun, rainfall. Now this is going to, it's going to have a nice bed here. Lift up the shell and they can talk to me in the kitchen. This is a <laughs> shell. <laughs> shell you heard a tell cell? Yeah. <laughs> <This is> shell <laughs> cell. It goes down the pipe, all the way down here, and down, in, and down into the kitchen. We're going to see it later. But if somebody stays here, you can listen, and we're going to go downstairs. Of course. Okay. And we're going to talk through the shell cell. And we go, <laughs> tell me who's going to come down. You want I to come, come down, down. Lupita? Yeah. A ver. Te la paso, ok? Ok, a ver, dale. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Y eso, por favor, es que mira. Ok. 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 We can make this very long, you know, it still works. Lupita's coming now to say hi. Hi. <laughs> Amazing. I'm talking to your son upstairs. Is your son, no? Yeah, yeah. He was hearing with the camera at the yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, ask, um, he's asking for you, Mom. <laughs> Come on, I'll, I'll continue to film you while you're talking to your lovely son. Okay. There you go. Habla. Increíble. Como si estuvieras en el teléfono normal. Sí, no, 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 está. Pero sin costo y sin interferencia. Increíble. De chicos lo hacíamos con un vaso de plástico, pero está mucho mejor. Okay, vamos a bajar. Acá los esperamos. It's amazing. I can't believe it. I mean, you, nice. your brain must be preser preserved <laughs> for a long time. You know, now about clonation, maybe we should think on cloning you. We need more people like <laughs> you in this earth. Not exactly, eh? Hey, yeah, take a photo there. Ooh, coming down. It's amazing. Well, it's and fresh. Right. I have and look here, we have this. This is coming from the, the, up the top there. I'm just taking this amount. I'm just washing some things out here. But this is coming from the tank up there, which will be collected from the rain. Oh, what would you do? Well, right now it's not rainwater because we've had three months dry season. Oh, I this know. This is from, I fill my tank from the shore. But when the rain starts, I'm going to collect Pumped it. Up, you know? How did you shower yourself with salt In here. No, no, no. I get water. I have a tube that goes over there and I fill it up from them. But because there's no rain now for yeah. three months, no rain. So. That's part of this problem with the world. Yeah. If we could have more nature, we'd have more rain. Hugo. You know, Hugo. Yeah. Hasta bien, hola, Hugo. Qué bueno, hola, Hugo. <laughs>